How's it going guys and welcome back to ABTFM YouTube channel. Today we're back with another episode of the Enigma Project with Getafe CF. so welcome back to the series and this will be the last episode um in our first season with Getafe F um CF so yeah um before we start the video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content smash that like button as well as hit the bell to get notified so you wouldn't miss out any of my video so yes um this will be the last video um in 2020 as well so the next week um the christmas period i'm not going to upload um any of the main series however i do have a special video for all of you guys so yes um stay tuned and then hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you wouldn't miss out the video yes all right so in the last episode we played one game against granada one one draw very very um frustrating game i would say and then the next game against real madrid yes as um expected two new loss and then <laughs> nemanja maximovic actually got sent off in that game and then we actually had three good very very good result against um um the team in the la liga so um against real betis we won two nil and then um bilbao we actually won one nil all thanks to anas uno early goal and then the next game against um, Real San Sebastian, we actually won 2-1 as well. Very, very happy. And with that being said, we are actually finished in the 7th position. As you can see here, EC2, we are actually qualified for Euro Cup. However, this one is only the um, qualification round. So, which means in the next season in the Europa League, we will have to um, play the playoffs then we then that will define whether or not we will go into the group stage so um yes very sad because we are currently um holding 58 points and then Villarreal and real san sebastian have 60 and 59 points relatively um re i mean um not relatively um my english is just bad um please bear with me okay so um anyways if today Villarreal lost to elche and um, real san sebastian lost to um, Granada and if we won the game against Atletico Pamplona today we will be going to the um fifth position which means we will just straight away qualify for the Europa League so we don't really have to play the playoffs and stuff so I am very looking forward to that to be honest um but we will see how we do man um because it is very very hard to say um whether or not we can just qualify to the um europa league straight away however i'm very very happy that we finish at least seven in our first season with getafe cf because um um if you follow the series um we actually had our up, ups and down in this series you you can see here um in our february we just draw all the games until um we won the game against Sevilla and then at the start of the season we are actually started quite badly one nil loss against Elche nil nil um draw against Celta Vigo and then draw against some um, Cardis lost against Barcelona and then draw against some um, Levante lost against um Atletico Madrid yes it's so so bad to be honest I'm so happy that we actually finished at least seven in our first season so yes Today, we are just going to play our last game of the season against Atletico Plampona right here. And then, this will be our starting 11. Yes, I'm going to play Hernandez as the um, attacking midfielder right there. And then, Yaya Torre and Pala Versa will be our two um, midfielder right there. Um, Yes, not... Actually, I can start Maximovic. Oh my god. Actually, I just saw this. Okay, so which means I'm going to start Maximovic as the deep, deep line playmaker, actually. And then Arambari will be on the bench and then we'll just bring him um in for Pala Versa at the um later stage of the game. And then today will be the last game again um of Dijane because um he's joining Barcelona next season so maybe we'll just start him you know let's just play him in the um central um defender area right there and then um i think i'm very very happy with this 
setup. And yes, Marco Correa is um is out for um five weeks, I believe. So which means um Matias Oliveira will come in as a left wing back right here. So yes, um last game of the season, and without further ado, let's jump straight into the game. All right, welcome back, and we are now in the um dressing room. Let's just go with pump face and say this is a great opportunity to show all the pundits that they have been right to back you up. All right, go into the tunnel and then go into the match preview and then kick off. Let me just see. Um, let's go with extended highlight right here and 2D classic. That's what I'm looking for. And yes, here's a free kick for us. Maximovic crossing in, but Herrera just held the ball comfortably. And what a pass, finding Avila right there. And Johnny pushing up on the left flank right there. Come on, close him down right there. And boom, Midir, Budimir. Um, I can't pronounce his name. But yeah, um, Budimir. Yeah, Budimir, the striker. All right, here's a highlight for us. Palavasa. What? <laughs> He's just um, been blocked by the defender. And what a poor pass, finding Norm right there. And Budimir is through. Uh, with the fan right there, and what a save from David Soria! What a good save! Come on, Oliveira, thumbs up the ball up, finding Mata right there, and that's a free kick. Mata is actually offside, man. I I thought that's a very very good opportunity for us. And then um actually I'm just going to change the league table to later score right here because I want to see whether um Valaril and um Real San Sebastian they are losing or they are winning their game. Although we are actually not looking good in this game because um I think Atletico Pampona they are playing very very well right now. Oh my god. Okay, that's a goal kick for um to us. And then right now um that's a lot of nil nil in the game right here. So I'm just going to shout a um encourage right here. And then Alan Nom with the throw in is just cleared by Johnny and Alan Nom still got the ball and he just lost the ball right there. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to switch a little bit, um, make some tweaks on my tactics right there. And what a good pass finding Ruben Garcia. And then Ruben Garcia and the left, the right flank is just empty right there. Darko to Johnny. Johnny push it to Avila, to Budimir. And what a good um defend from us right there. But we can't we still can't win back win the ball back. Oh yeah. Pass it to Nacho Vidal. Nacho Vidal pushing forward to Ruben Garcia. Oh yeah, back to Nacho Vidal. Long ball finding Darko and Torres and what a true pass finding um Ezekiel Avila. Okay, let's go attacking and let's just make some changes on the um tactics right here. Um Hernandez, I actually want you to play as a shadow striker and then let's just pass into space and then we have a standard width of attacking. Yes, not looking good. Um Atletico Plampon Plampona already have six shot and three on target. And that's a good one. And Kabako scored the goal. Wait, is that an offside? Oh my god, that's an offside right there. Ah, that's bad. Come on. Oh my god, the goal has been turned um down by um Divar. Okay, and then um here's a another highlight for us. Mata, good pass finding Maximovic, but. But that shot was so, so bad. So, so bad right there. And um, as I see right here, Real San Sebastian um, is winning 1-0 against Granada. So which means we are actually um, safe in the 7th position. And what a good one. Palavasara, and what a good pass finding Mata. But Mata just missed the target right there. How did you miss that? Maximovic with the free kick right there. I actually, I was thinking maybe we should play for set pieces. Let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. And Darko. Darko right there. What a good pass finding Kike Barria. And what a good one. Yes, I, I knew that. I knew that was going to be a goal right there. Oh my god. What a bad performance from us in the last game of the season. That's... What a shame, man. Okay, I'm just going to skip this. And yeah, yes, proceed to the changes. We are actually going to finish at the 7th position, isn't it? We just can't win the game right here. And then Oliveira, what a good dribbling. Dribble past the um defender right there. Palaversa. Pass it to Alan Norm. That's a good one. Alan Norm pushing forward into the box. But Johnny, tackle. um What a clean tackle. Dejane with the clearance. And then David Garcia and Dijane, yes, he can't win the header, of course, because his jumping reach is only 9. And then um, Ruben Garcia right there, 
Pass it back to Nacho Vidal and I can sense a third goal from um, Atletico Pompona right here. Oh yeah, cross it in. Darko picked up the ball. Back to Johnny. And then Alan Norm can't mark Johnny and what a dangerous shot from Atletico Pompona right there. Okay, um, Vila is actually um, injured. I think. And then Maximovic, he just headed the ball back to KK Baja right there. And Budimir scored a third goal. See, that's what I was talking about. And Maximovic 6.3, Elenop 6.2. Yes, I am going into the dressing room. I'm going to throw the water bottle. Yes, I am so, so... Oh, I don't know. I'm so angry, man. But at least we... I guarantee a 7 position finish. So, which means that that would be good, actually. So, I don't know what to say. Okay, let's just go into the um tactics bar. And I'm going to sub off Maximovic for um, Arambari. And then Alan Nom for Damien Suarez. Yes, this is this will be the last game for him as well. And then um I am actually going to bring on David Timo right here. And let him play as the Mazala on support. So, let's just give a team talk. Um, pump face and then say yeah let's go we got yeah we i, I mean I, I just don't know what to do man i'm just going to play through the center and then play a very very narrow one and then higher defensive line and get stuck in okay i'm just going to score the team a little bit anas uno 6.2 chucho hernandez 6.1 i think i'm just going to sub them off for um victor moleo and um angel i think that will be the last game wearing um guitar face shirt as well because um victor moleo is going back to atletico merit and then um angel we are actually not going to renew his contract so that's why arambari with a good interception right there pass it into the middle to david timor david timor go all the way and yes that's a bad shot from david timor um let's go to the substitution tab Angel and Victor Moleo, you guys are up. Okay, 3-0 down. And um, yeah, I I don't know what to say, man. I don't think we can come back. And I just don't want us to consider the fourth goal. Yes, good save by David Soria right there. And then let's see what you can do. Wait, is that a penalty? Oh my god, is that a penalty? Oh, oh the VAR just awarded another penalty. For Atletico Pampona. Oh my god, that's Torres as oh my god, fourth goal. What happened? Oh my god, what happened to us? That's a very, very disappointing last game of the season. So so bad. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? I think my boys just feel like oh actually we are already qualified for the um, Europa League and then um, we just we just don't really have to um, work hard. Oh my god, that's so so bad. I just want this game to to be ended right here. 4-0. That's enough. Yeah, we are already dead. Please don't please, please don't hit us anymore. Yeah, stop beating us. And then um Oliveira is not do, doing a good job right here. I'm just going to um simply make a sub I'm out of substitution. Okay, let's just cancel. Yeah, discard all, all the changes right there. And then, Damien Suarez with the throw in. And then, yeah, that's that will be the end of the game. Toro, back to the defender. I can't pronounce the name. Ruben Garcia right there. Pushing forwards. Oh my god, still pushing forward. You guys already won 4-0. Ruben Garcia with the ball. Palva... Pal Palavasa, oh, I can't pronounce my um, player's name correctly right now. Okay, David Timor, and that's that's it. That's over. I'm just going to the dressing room and I'm going to trash up and say I'm far from place. That's so, so bad. I'm furious with your defending work. I'm furious with your playmaking work and I'm furious with your finishing. Yes, so, so bad. And what a way to end the season losing 4-0. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Tactical Blunder ends winning run. Is it? Yes, we just, um, yeah, okay. Moleo vows to end goal, goal drought. Never mind, you are going back to Atletico Merit and goalless Angel worries Getafe. No, don't worry, you are leaving us at the end of the season as well. So, yes, uh, yeah, that's the end of the season, man. I'm just going to send the assistant to the, um, a press conference. So, yeah, we are qualified for the, um, Europa League playoffs, which I'm very, very happy about it. Of course, I'm not happy with the um, loss in the last day of the season. However, that's a lot of work to do in 
in terms of the squad because a lot of players actually leaving us um in fact i'm just going to show you guys the contract so expired yes um dijane is actually leaving us and i think johan kabai is leaving us as well um ante palaversa is going back to manchester city because um he's not happy with his game time and then um i don't think he is going to join us on loan again and then um angel is leaving as well francesco portillo i think i'm not going to renew his contract and then Victor Moleo is going back to Atletico Madrid. Guan Hernandez is going back to Watford. And then, yes, that's a lot of players leaving us at the end of the season, which means I'll have the, um, not necessarily the money, but I have the um, space um, to, to continue our challenge. Yes, because we only allowed to have um, eight Adidas players, eight Nike players, and eight Puma players. So, yes, um... I am just going to do all this stuff offline and then I'm just going to end this episode right here. What a good ride. Uh, I mean, what a good season for us. I would say what a brilliant, brilliant um, um, performance from the boys throughout the season uh, beside this game. So yes, um, yeah, very happy um, about it. And I'm, I think I'm just going to end this um, episode right here and then I will see you guys in the um, next episode. In the next season, I would say, all right. So, um, if you enjoy watching content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's abt underscore fm to join the discussion of football. So, yes, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.